Now we're going to take a look at the Season Sales Targets tab. So this is looking at our sales and production tar targets for the year. I'm going to open this up here and just go, go through these different um, um, cells here. So just reviewing what we've talked about, you can see these are all our, uh, our titles or our labels. These green ones, which is only four of them here, are where we're going to enter data. And then the orange ones here are where calculations are going to take place. So this is a preset um, uh, spreadsheet with uh, for about $125,000 in sales. And as I walk you through this, you'll get a sense of, of what this looks like. So here I've put in a weekly revenue goal of $2,500. So this is basically the sales you need to do each week to do $125,000 a year in sales. I've put a, a realistic uh, but made up number of 100 trays per week capacity, which means that's the number of trays I can grow at any one time. So this accounts for overlap and, and things like that. So this is, this is really important. Um, uh, so basically, actually, this is a per harvest. So if I'm, do, I'm doing two harvests a week, which means I can do 100 trays twice a week, which means I have enough room to grow 100 trays and to have 100 trays germinating as well. So we'll, I won't get into that detail, but just keep in mind you have two phases, your germination and your growing phase, and you need to have 100 trays of each in order to produce 100 trays over two harvests a week. Um, so that's what I've got down here. So uh, we're doing two harvests a week, and, and a reason we're doing two harvests a week, if we just move down here, is that I need 139 trays of production a week in order to, to make my sales target of 6,944 trays. Now that assumes I'm selling trays at um, $18 a tray on average, so that's the, the price I'm looking at. And I'm going to do 50 weeks of production, which means I'm going to take a couple weeks off during the year. So as a business, you know, grossing $125,000 a year, if you're small scale or home based, you're probably going to want to take a bit of time off. This is a good time uh, to, um, uh, to sort of plan for the next year and get a bit of rest. Generally, uh, leading right up to Christmas, maybe you do your last harvest on the 23rd or so to give restaurants some stock for the for the Christmas holidays. And then you take a break and start again in the new year. So to give you a sense of things, if I start changing what I think my average price is going to be. Oh, actually, it doesn't make differences here. Sorry. Um, this is going to change things later, so it doesn't really matter here. Um, what we are looking at um, is, um, oh no, it did make a difference. What am I saying? Yeah. So if I want to sell, uh, if I want to make $125,000 a year at $15 a tray, I have to sell a lot more trays. So this is how I've got it set right now. So I, I've used $18 an hour because my experience tells me even though some trays uh, sell for less on average, some trays sell for more. So that's a good price to, um, to go for. Um, that might be a good place for you to start as well, though it's going to depend on your market and, and many things like that. If you're going for a more premium market, uh, you might be able to put that price higher. But if you're trying to sell more stuff in bulk uh, and do more wholesale stuff, that price might go down a little bit. So from this, wanting to do $2,500 a year, being able to produce 100 trays per harvest, doing two harvests a week, uh, doing 50 weeks of production and averaging, striving to average $18 a tray. I'm going to need to produce 6,900 trays. I'm going to have to do about 139 a week. So, and then the rest of things go here. My maximum trays is 200 a week. This is how many I can do. And 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 then these these production numbers, I'm at about 69 or 70 percent. And so this is important because it tells me that I have room to expand. And so if my goal is 125,000 and things go well and I, I can get more sales, I have the capacity to do that. And this is a challenge a lot of people come, come into is that they, they do well and then they have more sales than they can uh, uh, service. And that can become a challenge. So this is really important to consider there. Uh, quick look here. Here's an example here where we've got some, um, some comments here. So you can see there's just a little orange... Uh, uh, triangle in the corner here. So I just uh, hover over those and I can see those. So that just gives you a little bit more information to keep the text on the screen a little low. There's one here and there's another one up here. So these are things that you can just refer to in the future for quick references on what to do. So this is our season sales targets. This is going to feed some other stuff in the crop planner and as you might guess 
this number here of 6,900 trays, since that's our projected number of trays, uh, it's also going to tell us how much soil we're going to need, and once we get into our crops, how much seed we're going to need for those crops. So already we have some information to start projecting our costs for the season. So this is our season sales and production targets. Uh, so hopefully that gives you a sense of other stuff you're going to look at, and we'll move on to look at some of the crop details now.